Hey guys, I wanted to make a video on how to replace the entire hot end assembly on your Bamboo Lab printer. Make sure you turn the printer off and completely unplug it so that way there's no issues with electricals. You're going to need a 2mm Allen key, your new hot end assembly, and you might as well replace the screws while you're at it. The full assembled one comes with new screws, so you can just use those. Take the magnetic cover off, put it out of the way. If you do it like this, it'll kind of just stay out of the way. Go ahead and unplug these three cables. I personally used a little tweezer to do this. This one has a clip. Pinch the clip at the same time on the top and pull it out and it should come out. This one, kind of grab on the top and the bottom and you can pull it out. This one, same thing, grab the top, grab the bottom, and you should be able to just pull it out. It tells you to remove the cables from the clip, but I say wait until you unbolt the hot end. So grab the two millimeter and take these two bolts out. Now that it's unscrewed, you can pull it out. And then here you can easily get the wires out of the clip. There you go. There's the old hot end. Let's grab the new one. Same thing, but in reverse. Go ahead and try to fish the cables into the clip, but don't worry about plugging them in. Now that they're in, you can kind of shove the hot end in there and it should stay. Go ahead and replace the screws. I wouldn't worry about tightening both of the screws down until you already have both of them in. Now that they're both in, you can go ahead and tighten them. Doesn't have to be too tight, just hand tight is fine. Now you can go ahead and plug your wires back in. The small thermistor wire, you might actually need to use the little tweezers to plug it in as well. And this top one here, unlike me, make sure you put it the right way when you try to plug it in. I tried for way too long to do it the wrong way. And I used the tweezers just to make sure it was in there. Try to tuck these wires out of the way and put your cover back on. If the cover doesn't snap on right, just try to move the wires a little bit and get them in the right place. Once everything's in the right spot, the cover should just snap right on. And you're done.